Today on DeAndre Hamilton Presents. As a young person, you want to grow up and enjoy what everyone before you has had the opportunity to. You're going to have to step up because like I say mm -hmm. to kids, we failed you. I really love learning. And more than that, I'm a huge fan of sharing what I learn, especially if I believe it enhances the quality of life because who wants to live a life lacking in quality? So I'll show you the most interesting people, the most intriguing places, and the most impressive plans in and around our one Caribbean. Handpicked by me for a one-on-one -on -one chat sure to deliver on what matters most. My new show, DeAndre Hamilton Presents. DeAndre Hamilton Presents was filmed at Beaches, Turks and Caicos, an amazing all-inclusive luxury resort featuring five magnificent villages boasting the architecture and ambiance of Italy, France, the Caribbean and Key West, all in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Thank you, Beaches, for your world-class hospitality. Amy grew up in Cape Town, South Africa, where she cultivated a love for the natural world. While studying environmental sciences at the University of Cape Town, Amy also worked as an environmental control officer in the film and fashion industry. Her postgraduate saw her specialize in environmental impact assessment, EIA and environmental management, after which she worked for a multinational engineering firm as an EIA practitioner on various green energy projects in Southern Africa. After moving to the Turks and Caicos Islands in 2013, she took up her current position with the Department of Environment and Coastal Resources, DECR, as an environmental outreach coordinator, where she develops facilitates and runs several outreach and education initiatives geared towards environmental awareness and stewardship. Amy is a dedicated advocate for environmental stewardship and sustainable fashion and has a deep concern for ethical and eco-friendly consumerism. She aims to raise awareness about the environmental and social impacts of fast fashion while inspiring others to make conscious choices in their clothing purchases. Meet Amy Avenant. That's my girl, Amy Avenant. She is so busy keeping the Turks and Caicos beautiful by nature. We don't say that so much anymore in the TCI as much as we used to do, but we must because truly, um, we have been blessed with some of the most pristine views and, and just wonderful expanses of heavenly, beautiful Caribbean. Oh my goodness, we love this country. And Amy Avenant is, we stole her. You see, we stole her from somewhere. She was attracted to us. We got her from somewhere. And um, when I met her all those many years ago, I was always smitten with her. I loved her passion. And it really, you know, it, it ignited mine as well even more so for our natural environment. Amy Avenant is with our Department of Education and Coastal Resources, and she is a part of the education and outreach team, and we're so happy to have her with us. So we stole you from South Africa. Correct. Yeah, Cape Town, wow, South Africa, Cape Town, yes. South Africa. This is like one of my bucket list places to go and visit. What was it like growing up in, in South Africa? It was fantastic. It's a very diverse upbringing, yeah. uh, culturally, uh, environmentally, it is really fantastic and mm -hmm. um, I got to be exposed to many different people, many different ways of living mm -hmm. and of course the beautiful outdoors. Yes, it's. I mean I've seen the pictures and the video, I watch it, I do watch it and I, I'm going to get there. I'm going <laughs> to get there. Tell me about how you came to find this career in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Um, to a large degree, I think it found me. Okay. Uh, when I moved here, uh, the first year I wasn't working. I'd moved with my husband and mm -hmm. we thought we'd be here temporarily. Right. And uh, I started volunteering at the department, uh, just desperate for something to do and right. to give back and right. to get involved in my community. 
And with the background in environmental impact assessment, I thought I could add value. Yeah. And, um, you know, I was very fortunate to have the opportunity to apply for this position mm -hmm. um, as outreach coordinator. And I've been doing this for 10 years. Wow. You know, like, like SpongeBob says, 10 years later, <laughs> here you are, still with us, um, blossoming, flourishing under the shares. We're um, also benefiting from your tremendous devotion to this matter. Recently, I had the um, pleasure, and I think people in the room felt the same way, of hearing you speak at the first Environmental Youth Summit, Turks and Caicos, way to go, mm -hmm. getting young people engaged and talking about this subject that may not necessarily be a hot issue among youth, and yet it was. Mm -hmm. What did you think about the summit? Oh, it's fantastic, mm -hmm. and uh, kudos to the Department of Youth Affairs um, mm -hmm to bring children together, students together, grown-ups together yeah. in one room to talk about something that concerns us all. Mm -hmm. um, and children are facing uh, much greater challenges um, with every passing minute. Yeah. And they have so much information and uh, requirements, social mm -hmm. requirements thrown at them yeah. that it makes it difficult to find where they should be the responsible citizen and how they should keep up with their peers. Yeah, absolutely. And you talked to us about some practical things, which we'll get into a little bit later. But in the Turks and Caicos Islands, we're also um, into the schools with the Greening Our Schools initiative. Did that start, am I correct, when I say it started in line with um, celebrating the Queen's um, um, anniversary? Yeah, so uh, it was actually the brainchild of um, the curriculum development officer in the Department of Education. Wow, okay. Uh, Elisander. Elisander, Lancy. okay, I didn't and know that. And she approached a, a number of stakeholders. We were one of them. Yeah. And of course, uh, I thought I've got to throw my full weight behind this. Mm -hmm. um, the department is stronger if we are able to collaborate yeah. and to collaborate with the Department of Education is a no-brainer. So we were very fortunate to have the support from both ministries mm -hmm. and directors. And then we applied for external funding through the Darwin Plus Local Program. Sure, sure. Um, and that gave us a little bit of funding to be able to give students and teachers the uh, financial support, although small, but mm -hmm. something to start with mm -hmm. so they could implement these, um, these initiatives. Right. And essentially it runs under four themes uh, to improve mm -hmm. waste management electricity conservation, water conservation, or biodiversity wow. within the school. And the idea is that students and faculty are responsible, but it's very student driven mm -hmm. and it's sustainable. So schools are expected to continue with this. Mm -hmm. It's not just one year, 24 to 25 or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, and we have just these la last few weeks, we've been um, uh, assessing schools and we are so thrilled with the wow. results we're seeing and we're hoping more and more schools will sign up we've had 15 schools sign up in the 15 last year schools on board yes across the country wow um and you know we've got that's 50 percent of the schools yeah, on yeah, uh, yeah. on the islands yeah. so we're hoping that you know by next year we have 80 percent and then within two, three years we'll have 100 percent commitment and tell people how young these are because we're talking little kids Oh, this is the fantastic part. So we do have, it's open to both primary and high school, yeah. but the primary school kids are inspirational. I've mm -hmm. actually said to a high school group, go next door, go to your primary school mm -hmm. and have a look, you know. Um, so we're seeing a lot of creativity mm -hmm. um, uh, and a lot of kind of uh, anthropology morphizing mm. of animals and insects so putting out little <laughs> slides for lizards and yeah. do not disturb zones for <laughs> the ants and you know and it's fantastic because it means that yes. they're all getting involved yeah so i really um, am very grateful for the creativity and the ingenuity yeah. that this is all being approached with and you know the 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 culture um, the cultural heritage and natural heritage in tci are intrinsically linked yeah and the kids here are exceptionally creative mm -hmm. and to see them being able to apply those skills mm -hmm. and to involve their community one school on north caicos went around and did a town cry i mean there's no escaping the <laughs> message that way so i was particularly encouraged by that yeah. and you know to see how 
uh, the communities come uh, to to back the schools that yeah, are really yeah. willing to. Oh, we get love involved. the kids, Amy. Oh, it's fantastic. We do everything for our children, so when they speak and say, "Hey, this mm. is the slide for the lizard," mm. I really want to mm. see that slide oh, now. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm telling you. We we listen and yeah. and we we pay attention and we must yes. because at the end of the day, all of this chatter around the globe. It's all about what we are talking about. We want to hand it over to that generation. Right. And so why not have them involved? Yeah. Why not have them be actual players yeah. and, in this whole you know, effort to conserve, preserve, cut back, streamline, protect, cherish, nurture? All of these things go hand in hand. We're going to talk to Amy a bit more about some practical ways. Ladies, gents, shoppers, shoppers. Yes, yeah, I said shoppers. What does shopping have to do with conservation? Amy's going to tell us in just a little bit. You are watching the Andre Hamilton Presents. How do I know if I am squatting on Crown land? If you do not have any official documentation from the land registry demonstrating your title to the land, it is likely that you are squatting. If you are unsure, you should check the property ownership records at the land registry or hire a professional surveyor or an attorney to determine the legal status of the land. It is essential to ensure you have the right to occupy and use the property to avoid legal issues. For more information, call the Informal Settlement Unit 344-0478 or visit their website and follow on their social media. Elevate your healthcare experience with InterHealth Canada, Turks and Caicos Islands Hospitals, MyCare Corner portal and mobile application. Request an email registration invitation at mycarecorner at interhealthcanada.tc to enjoy personalized care features like appointment reminders, lab results, medical information, and secure messaging. There is simply nowhere else in the Turks and Caicos Islands that you can find such a wholesome variety of your favorite fresh foods. There is simply nowhere else in the Turks and Caicos Islands that you can find such outstanding service. And there is simply nowhere else in the TCI to answer your every food craving in a chic, comfortable, centrally located store. That's a place you can trust. Number one is Graceway IGA. Fresh service trust for over 20 years. Okay, so we promised that we would let you hear Amy Avenant of the Department of Environment and Coastal Resources in the TCI. We call them DECR. It's been around for so many years. It's definitely a part of every time and everything we think of when we think environment, when we think of our coastlines. And that's everything for us in the Turks and Caicos Islands because it's what we show the world. It's what we, we, we feed um, to even ourselves. It, it, we thrive off of it from then to now. Um, in various ways. And this is the department, a big team, a great team. And when I say big, I mean big hearted for sure. Uh, taking care of our environment. Tell us a bit about the DECR for, for, before we head into sure. the so, other stuff. Yeah, the DECR is uh, mandated to protect, um, conserve, mm -hmm. and enforce within protected areas. Yes. Uh, we have a very large portfolio. Uh, we do uh, manage and enforce the National Parks Ordinance, mm -hmm. the Coastal Protection Ordinance, the uh, Beach Patrol and Vending Ordinance, mm -hmm. and then um, some s subsidiary ordinances. Mm -hmm. And um, it takes a lot of passion, mm -hmm. a lot of grit, and a thick skin to work mm -hmm. within our department. Uh, we're often not known for what we are doing, but what yeah. we're not doing. Yeah. But uh, yeah. my colleagues are uh, committed and determined and work very hard. We've got a scientific unit, an enforcement unit, outreach arm, and um, you know we we try our very best. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end of the day, our success is very much based on the support of the community at large. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, just as we have our um, issues with border protection, because we're such a porous nation, we're a cluster of islands. This is all yours too. You, you just protect it from the other side. Correct. Yeah. Yes. And that's a lot of work. Yeah. It's a big, big field. It is. <laughs> Beautiful field. Yeah, absolutely. But big, big field. Yeah. We heard you talking at this in Youth Environment Summit. They had you on this panel and people were talking about, you know, ways we can conserve and protect and preserve all of these wonderful things. Mm -hmm. And here comes Amy telling me, watch what you buy. 
Why, Amy? Why should we watch Ruby? Why? Well, Why I does our shopping habits? Why does our shopping habits matter? I think it's important that the youth are aware that their shopping habits matter. Um, firstly, and that is because it is one of the easiest ways to make a positive impact. Mm. So responsible consumerism. Mm. I am incredibly passionate about that. Um, I am. I I fail myself, <laughs> but I try my very best. Yes, <laughs> I am an avid thrifter and secondhand purchaser. <laughs> very much like this. I'm wearing yeah. a two dollar dress. What? Some designer shoes that <laughs> yes. are, were not and bought new. Cool. They're <laughs> yeah. very cool. So I'm all about it, yeah. and I do very much practice what I preach here, yeah. but. Um, when I ask young people, how can you help the environment? The very first thing that they say is do not litter. Mm -hmm. And we have unfortunately surpassed that as the biggest issue. Yes. yes. And consumerism is incredibly important um, and responsible consu consumerism because firstly, we're an island nation. Yep. And that means that anything that is coming in is more than likely not going out. Yeah. It has to go somewhere. And then second to that mm. is what are we bringing in? Are we bringing in the very best that we can with what we have? Or are we bringing in um, to stay up to stay up with trends or keep up with trends or to have the the newest and the uh, you know the best and the the, the modern mm -hmm. so it's thinking about those things. Mm -hmm. Now don't get me wrong. I like nice things. Of I like course, to shop. Of course, of course. And so it's thinking about how can I do the very best within those parameters. Yeah. Fast fashion is something that appeals to youth. And it's certainly a way in which when you're educated correctly and you've been made aware, which is what mm -hmm. I am trying to do, mm -hmm. is where we can make a difference. Yeah. So it's estimated that a large laundry load mm -hmm. of new fast fashion products so you've just had your sheet in unboxing mm -hmm. you've unpackaged come on you can't wait <laughs> right yeah you, you know wait. this fits you know it there may be a couple of items you're not so pleased with yeah. you put them on the ground the rest yeah. they all go into yeah. the into the laundry yeah first wash that first wash of polyester can emit up to 700,000 pieces of microplastic. Wow. And where does that end up? That ends up in our oceans. And microplastics, don't be fooled. Everyone thinks microplastic, they think tiny bits that they can see. Mm -hmm. I'm talking micro, cannot be seen. Wow. Being consumed by plankton, mm -hmm. plankton consumed by whales, right? right? Or, um, or even or sucked in by us. Straight up. So, Grouper. We catch the grouper. I love the grouper. We love the grouper. What are you going to say about the grouper, Amy? Grouper is at the top of its food chain. Oh, gosh. We love to eat grouper. We love to And eat that grouper. plastic accumulates and accumulates and accumulates in the food chain. By the time you get to the grouper, you might as well warm up a plastic bag for dinner. <laughs> Not no. as tasty, but as effective. Yes. What I'm saying is, is that eventually that does go into yeah. our system. systems. And it has been scientifically proven that within the bloodstream uh, and the uh, fecal matter of the human species, mm -hmm. there has been uh, microplastic found. And that is because we're at the very top of our food chain. Wow. So that's the first thing. Now, that's- so, so wait, let's break this down. So you're buying this cheap stuff, maybe junky stuff. And when it, when it goes to the to waste or even even in the wash see you lost see, i didn't know about the wash i didn't think about that so even in the washing the keeping clean of a thing caring for it it starts to break down, it starts to break down emits stuff and we are some way somehow down the line immediately taking it in and it's affecting our health correct wow and i mean that's the larger picture yeah and so you know that's what concerns me i i work with it in a technical level yeah. but what what matters to everyone else around us and that's what we have to look at and wow. start to break down. She's going to tell us more about this in just a minute. We're going to take a break. As a man who loves spending time with family, does whatever it takes to keep my wife happy and works hard to grow a successful business, it is important for me to stay on top of my game. With Flo's new family plans, I get to keep all my favorite things in one place. 
with 80 gigabytes of data to share with up to four family members and unlimited local anywhere talk and text. I get one bill that covers my entire family for as low as $60 per line and no surprise charges. All I had to do was add my home internet to my mobile, switch the flow for more savings and more value. Flow helps me look out for my family's greatest needs, keep my customers happy, stay connected to everything I love, and have more time for the right things. From the house opening to the deal closing and all that happens in between, we are real estate pros who never settle until our clients are settled. We know the school districts, the shopping districts, and the you gotta live there districts. Over 50 years ago, we put ourselves on the real estate map, then totally changed the landscape. Today, we're more than 140,000 strong, with each pair of hands building a legacy and shaping our tomorrow. This is our time, and this is our century. from one site to the next lots of cash transactions make you vulnerable need eyes on your investments no matter where you are are you looking for professional security escorts for your high net worth guests want to support neighborhood watch with skill patrols sounds like you need security solutions and spend security services established in the Turks and Caicos since 1998 get armored truck escort services from $150 and contact spend security for free consult Dependable professional service you can trust. That's Fed Security. DeAndre Hamilton presents. I'm DeAndre Hamilton presenting a wonderful lady. We have a very interesting talk. I am learning in every conversation, and that's what I really love about this. I knew I would. Um, it does not surprise me, but by extension, it's like I, I don't want to be selfish with my education. I want to make sure as many people as possible get from you what they can. And what you're saying is some stuff that I'm sure a lot of people, we just don't think about it. And, you know, microplastics. Amy, I don't even know if I've even ever heard the term, you know, because you're not thinking about it. You're thinking I'm being clean. I'm washing my clothing. And there you go. You're 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 part of the, the issue because so so we shouldn't even be washing too frequently, too. Should, should we should we try to be more conservative on that level? There are ways to be economical, um, you know. I uh, am aware of a movement where people will put their clothes right out in the sun to sterilize. Mm -hmm. I like a good wash. Yeah. So I'm not going to discourage you do you, right? Yes. But the idea is, is what you're buying. Yeah. So look for natural fibers. Okay. Especially living in the Caribbean, it's yes. hot. Yes, yes. If you're sitting in polyester, anything poly <laughs> is plastic. Poly is plastic. And you'd be sweating. Yes, okay, so yes. it's really uh, uncomfortable anyway. So yeah. think about what you're buying. Yeah. Are you able to buy a cotton linen blend? Yeah. Are you able to thrift it? Yes. You know, I think of the Salvation Army yeah. um, in uh, on Provo. Yeah. And I go in there regularly. Really and nice things. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of the items have not been uh, worn uh, exhaustively mm -hmm. and very good quality. Yes. Um, having said that, there are a number of sites online, yeah. Poshmark, for example. Um, they, uh, it's a fantastic site. Mm -hmm. People barely wear their items. Right. Um, you can buy brand new items, but at a much, re a much more reduced rate. Right. So, uh, like I explained at the summit, I get to dress the way I want, mm -hmm. but that suits my pocket. Yeah. You know, I am able to wear perhaps a designer shoe that I can't usually afford right. but this individual bought it wore it once to a wedding and never again yeah and now I get to benefit from that right. and so it's talking about a, a closed loop mm -hmm. um, a, 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 where fashion is not just recycled but reused mm -hmm. and instead of um, you know get get creative yeah young people get creative everyone wants to stand out especially in your teenage years mm -hmm. you know i think about that go and see what you can swap with your friends yeah. uh throw a party and do a clothes swap yeah. or have um you know a, a an afternoon where you craft and you're making something new out of a pair of pants you're making a pair of shorts whatever it is mm -hmm. so repurpose your items but like i say 
thinking about that fast fashion coming in, maybe 20% of the clothes don't fit you, you're not happy with the look, what do you do with that? Do you throw it away? Do you mm -hmm. donate it? Um, and then where does that go in the end? Yeah. You know, and you wear it a few times, your friends have seen it, and now you're tired of the look. Yeah. Uh, or next summer, it's completely out of fashion. Yes, I was just going to say, like, those trends are switching like that. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's about thinking, um, you know, consider an, a stylish approach. Yes. You can be 15 and be stylish. Yeah. You don't just have to be um, at the at the kind of forefront of, of fast fashion sure. uh, and what they're promoting. But you can think about carefully, curate your style from a young age. And that's what I really enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. I always have since I was young. Um, and that's why I feel like it is a tangible way to make a difference. Because whatever we're not using here, the boxes mm -hmm. that comes in, the bags, yeah. uh, the clothes that don't fit, Anything that goes in the garbage is going to the landfill. Mm -hmm. And land is a non-renewable resource. Mm -hmm. um, and then on a kind of a global, uh, you know, concept, the fashion industry is responsible for 10% of the carbon emissions wow. uh, on, on this planet. More than, I just learned this, more than maritime and aviation combined. I was not aware of that. No, it, that shocks me about aviation. Absolutely. For sure. So it wow. is, it really puts things into perspective. Yeah. But why does that matter to us? Because we are small island developing states. Yeah. And we are the most vulnerable to climate change and the impacts thereof. Whether you believe in it or not is irrelevant. We are seeing impacts. We're seeing the loss of land. We're seeing the encroaching, um, uh, sea level rise mm -hmm. and it's concerning yeah. and apart from that we're seeing coral bleaching you know and and very much like my colleague at the refund Alizé Zimmerman would say is that these corals everything we have in Turks and Caicos goes back to those corals yeah. um, and so that's Ooh. really something to consider um, and you know if as a young person you want to grow up and enjoy what everyone before you has had the opportunity to, you're going to have to step up because like I say mm -hmm. to kids, we failed you. Yeah. We have failed you. Um, it's time you use your voice and uh, take action where you can. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna pause again here and when we come back, Amy is gonna give us some ideas on how maybe we can get this going in our communities, within our schools, within our church groups, civic groups? How can we get young people thinking this way so that it becomes more of a tradition? Because I can tell you, our tradition is to be fashion forward. And so we need to see that um, um, go uh, um, down, if you will, and, and not armed up. We need to see that more down. So we take a break and we'll be back. From the house opening to the deal closing and all that happens in between, we are real estate pros who never settle until our clients are settled. We know the school districts, the shopping districts, and the you gotta live there districts. Over 50 years ago, we put ourselves on the real estate map, then totally changed the landscape. Today, we're more than 140,000 strong, with each pair of hands building a legacy and shaping our tomorrow. This is our time, and this is our century. DeAndre Hamilton Presents was filmed at Beaches, Turks and Caicos, an amazing all-inclusive luxury resort featuring five magnificent villages boasting the architecture and ambiance of Italy, France, the Caribbean and Key West, all in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Thank you, Beaches, for your world-class hospitality. We are talking about how our shopping habits, what is, the, what is the terminology? Consumerism. Consumerism, how our consumerism can be more responsible as we consider protecting, preserving, conserving when it comes to our environment. The Caribbean region, a part of small island developing states as Amy Avenant of the DECR and the Turks and Caicos so rightly pointed out, um, needs to be wise, we need to be wise. And we have young people who recently in the Turks and Caicos um, due to Earth Day, due to initiatives by the, the Department of Youth Affairs, 
um, are now engaged. So now it's official. We want to keep this going, or maybe we want to start something all together. How do we get young people? How do we, what do we now need to do in your mind? Um, especially as this is a passion of yours to get people to now culturally make that shift because culturally we got some money. Mm -hmm. We're, we're well off. We're one of the more well off regional countries. Our children are pretty rich. Mm -hmm. They've got cell phones of the top brands. They've got all of these gadgets and gizmos. Um, if they want, you know, when they go shopping or, or whether it's ordering online, they can get the Nike, they can get the top brands, uh, whatever they are these days. I, I can't even keep up, <laughs> but they can get the things they want pretty much. We're very blessed. Mm -hmm. But how do you now get young people who can have that to say, you know what? My Turks and Caicos environment is more important. Mm -hmm. Let me let me pull back. I think um, it's firstly deciding decide that within yourself mm -hmm. that's what I try to tell young people mm -hmm. because what happens is it just takes one yeah. young person in a friend group to say I'm promoting this this is what I love I love vintage mm -hmm. vintage is great and that's a cool word it's a great <laughs> word right because think about it you yeah. throw a a church fete or bazaar or whatever yeah. and there's there's some vintage items from yes. Grammy's closet yes, or whatever, yes. you know. There's nothing better than finding a $2 cardigan that mm -hmm. you just know has, it's, mm -hmm. there's a story. Yes. And so thinking about what appeals to you in that way. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll see, you start to influence your friends. Mm -hmm. Or maybe every break, every school break, you say, we go around, you know, um, uh what's it called a potluck you know like yes. a potluck but with clothes yes you go around to your friends you walk from house to house or everyone comes over to one home and you swap your items mm -hmm. now i always encourage whether it's donation um or whether you are swapping always put something in the box that you would want to wear yeah in the sense that don't take dad's old shirts with all of the holes mm -hmm. and uh, the stains. exactly <laughs> and then say yeah but i've contributed right um you know and very importantly when you're donating consider the people that are in desperate need mm -hmm. of items and who also want to be treated yeah. with dignity. dignity yeah so that's the first thing i would say a clothes swap is a great creative way a craft club mm -hmm. um reworking items or thinking carefully about do i really need this yeah <laughs> and that is difficult when you're young it because is. you do mm -hmm. you there are external factors but that also starts at home you know as a parent getting your kids to think about do they really need this um and you know some sometimes it's that's all all you can see because you know you're going to be the coolest mm -hmm. at the next uh you know yeah. casual day or yeah. whatever it is wait until they see what I absolutely oh, yeah. <laughs> right but at the same time, is it necessary or is there something else that I can yeah. purchase? Or do I have the same shirt with a different brand? Yeah. You know, do I only wear black t-shirts, but one says Supreme and one says Nike and one says... Whatever it is, it's like, okay, is yeah. that necessary? Are you going to... Is there longevity in this? Yeah. So just whatever it might be. So critical right. thinking about, about what you're buying. And then, you know, curating your closet. And I love to do that by going on to secondhand or thrifting sites, Vinted, Poshmark, whatever it might be, signing up. And that's where I prefer to purchase from. So, you know, there are some great options uh, in that sense. Mm -hmm. But what is encouraging is that we are seeing an increase in bigger brands um, having a resale section. Yeah. So I think of Zara or Urban Outfitters, Patagonia for outdoor items. Mm -hmm. um, REI, if you're someone that you're an outdoorsy person, mm -hmm. you can buy a, a, a pre-used backpack, for example. And so these are great ways to say, oh, well, I love to hike, sure, but I do it once a year. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll buy a secondhand backpack, for example. Um, so thinking about, uh, you know, good thinking critically about what you're sure. purchasing and looking for ways out to first purchase mm -hmm. and by no means is that to take away from the, the thrill of shopping or anything like that 
Um, the same thing though goes for uh, anything else you might be bringing in, electronics. Yeah. Um, sometimes it drives me up the wall, but my husband is all about the refurbished <laughs> <laughs> electronics right. and I don't trust it intrinsically. And yet I'm, I've never been disappointed. Right. Um, and so they're at least 30 to 50% less um, than a cost wise than a brand new item. Mm -hmm. um, and that is incredibly uh, helpful. It means that I get to sit on a new iPad mini, new mm -hmm. iPad mini, no sure. one else knows it's, that. Yeah, it's new to you for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and you think about the amount of uh, people that will purchase something and find they don't use it, they don't have a need for it. Yeah. And there's a market out there. And you know, eBay is great for that kind sure, of thing too. Sure. So there are many options. I do believe that the onus is also on the parents Very much because so. what you're doing at home, mm -hmm. uh, kids buy into that mm -hmm. a lot easier mm -hmm. when they see it's actually not that uncool. Yeah. You know, my parents do it. I do it. No one needs to know. Yeah. But it, it really, it really calls for a significant cultural shift in our mindsets because we want the new. Um, and sometimes because we're struggling with identity, um, or even success. You want to appear to be successful. You want to treat yourself because you're successful. And you want that to be apparent. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want it to look as if, well, I can't get this and I can't do that. So I think there are a lot of things that go on in the mind. And I think it really will take a concerted effort by people like yourself partnering with the, the Department of Youth Affairs and other organizations to really assist that thinking because you know what it also helps us to conserve money which can be used for your education so it can even I, I think of an idea that maybe you can say um, well okay what you save um, on your shopping if you if you're of that kind of um, I guess if your household can manage it and you do allocate maybe a little shopping budget at summertime or Christmas time well if you save this amount I'll match it mm -hmm. you know like just inspiring mm -hmm. your children to be more thrifty mm -hmm. and more forthright about things that really have the longevity. You can't take away experiences. No. Yes. You can't take away education. Mm -hmm. So it might be a trip to Amy's hometown of South Africa, <laughs> you, you know, and that, that is going to be a life transforming experience versus the same thousand dollars being blown mm -hmm. in one of your so favorite you stores do. in the mall, Absolutely. you see, and it can easily happen. Yes. You can easily. Yes. Wipe out a couple of thousand dollars mm -hmm. in a mall mm -hmm. in, in our favorite shopping mm -hmm. districts. That's no problem. Mm -hmm. And yet with that same amount of money, you could also go through an experience or have mm -hmm. a travel experience or pay for a, a, a degree. Absolutely. Especially these days with the kind of rates being offered by, say, TCICC, which is free, exactly. or UE, which is virtually free. Is yeah. the rate, the, the, especially if you do the um, open campus. Mm -hmm. It's just better mm -hmm. and we have to stare our children because that's our job. Mm -hmm. Our job is not to cater and ponder to childishness. <laughs> childishness. Yes. Yes. It's, it's to say, I love you. Yes. I know what's best for you. Trust me. Yeah. If you go this way, you get this. If you go this way, you get this. What do you want? You still can give them the choice. Absolutely. But you can lay out before them more options mm. that help them to think not just of themselves, yes. but of the planet that they're sharing with others. Absolutely. Amy, I so love this thing. We got to talk. <laughs> Let's see what we can do, mm -hmm. because I think it's critical. Um, and I, I see uh, in the Bahamas, we call it tangsy. Mm -hmm. You know, you're tangsy. You like to buy things. <laughs> and, and, you know, I think it's a residue from some of the colonialism. The, the proof we feel we have to have it mm -hmm. because we have it now. Mm -hmm. You know, we're educated mm -hmm. now. We, we're making the big money. Yeah. So we have to have it. We don't want to look poor. We don't want to look, you know, like generations, hundreds of years ago type folk look. We right. want to make sure right. we got it. That's it. You see? So, and that's not yeah. how you get it. And I know? think what's important. That's just a part of it. A hundred percent. Yeah. And what is important is that. Thrifting doesn't mean you have to look threadbare. Yeah, no, because you look great. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Listen, here we gotta get a zoom in on the shoes that Amy got on. Yes, Amy looks fabulous. Always does. I think you're such a beautiful woman in spirit, in in person, of course. You know, so you're you're saying sense. 
you talk in sense, you know, yeah. and we, we really need to grab hold of things like this because these, this is just one of the decisions we can make to help, like I say, to make our planet better. And this is one we can actively do without too much extra effort. This isn't the come out on Saturday morning at five o'clock and help us pick up trash, yes. you know, type type of thing, yes. which we should do still, Absolutely. but it isn't that it's like, okay, you're already going to everyday. shopping. You're already shopping. Mm -hmm. You're already looking for that thing to wear. Absolutely. So now look for that thing to wear, but maybe go on some of these sites you talk about, maybe look at the fabric you selecting, yes. different things like that. So it's great. I love it. I love it. I think it's wonderful. I think what you're doing is wonderful. Just keep up the great work. Um, we so appreciate having you and your husband because he, he's also pretty active doing things in the community. I see him, I see him. <laughs> so we, we really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you contribute um, and being a part of our family here in TCF. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. So Amy Avenant is one of the reasons this kind of a program exists because she's one of the people that really keeps our Caribbean 